One way of making money with WordPress is by creating a directory website. Thankfully, both the HivePress plugin and the Listing Hive theme are totally free, which means you can get up and running super fast at no cost at all. Now, what makes the Listing Hive theme super amazing is it's not limited to any niche, which means you can design any type of listing directory with it. Now, the other thing that I also find very amazing about the Listing Hive theme is it is based on the Gutenberg blocks, which means your website is going to be super fast. Now, if you use Elementor, there's also a basic integration. So in this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to set it all up. Let's get started. All right, so we are going to start off with a WordPress website, which is blank, doesn't have any templates, doesn't have any plugins, and this is what I have so far. Next, I'm going to now go into my dashboard and install our theme. So I'm gonna come over here to appearance, click on themes, and then I'm gonna just click on add new. Next, I'm gonna come over here and click on search, and we are going to search for listing hive. And here it is. This is by the way, free. So go ahead and click on install. And once installed, click on activate. So what you're going to notice is if I come over here to our site, I'm gonna refresh, and you'll notice that a few changes have happened here, but we still don't have a directory. So what do we need to do next? Well, we are going to need the plugin. So I'm gonna come over here and it says here, begin by installing plugin. So this is what's going to allow us to have our listing directory. So I'm gonna click here on begin installing plugin and here it is, click install. All right, so now it's telling us that it's successfully installed, which is fantastic. Next, I'm gonna come over here to installed plugins and just make sure that is activated. So I can see here it is not activated. So let's go ahead and do that by clicking on activate. So as soon as I hit activate, you notice now on the left here, we have a hive press, we have listings, and we also have vendors. After playing with this for a while, I noticed that what I need to do to get my directory listing up and running is to install my demo data. So to do that, I have a message here on the top, click here, and this is now going to open in a new tab. So here is what I need to do. I need to download the demo content files here. So I'm gonna click, and now you can see it has been downloaded on my computer. Next, I'm going to click here and show in Finder, and here it is in my download. I'm gonna double click to unzip it, and then I'm gonna go into this file. So we can see here that we have our content.xml. This is what has all our demo data. So I'm just gonna drag this over to the side here, and we need to go ahead now and import all this data. So to, to achieve that, we need to come over here and go to our plugins and click on add new. Next, I'm gonna search for a plugin called one click demo and hit enter. And here it is. I'm gonna click on install now. I'm gonna activate it. So now that is activated, I'm gonna come over here to appearance and then click on import demo data. So to import my data, I'm gonna come over here. So this is what I need to import. I'm gonna hit select file. Now remember, we downloaded uh, the files, so I'm going to go now into my demo, click on content.xml, I'm gonna click now on continue and import. So while this is importing the content, it's important that you don't refresh the page or click back because this is going to disrupt the import process. So just let it do what it has to do. And in this case now, this has fully imported. Now I can go to theme settings. Over here is where you need to do your adjustments. So first of all, you can um, change your logo by coming over here to site identity. So if you have a logo, you can go ahead and click here and then import it that way. So I don't have a logo, so I'm just is gonna have some text there. So this is gonna be the name of my website. So for the tagline, I'm gonna say, sell your gadgets. And then if I have a copyright notice, I would add it over here. But in this case, I'm just gonna leave that as it is. So if you take a look at the top here, uh, this now has become my text logo and this is my tagline. I'm gonna hit publish. Now over here, we also have our colors. So my primary color here is this um, orangey color. So what I could do is I can come here and change it if I wanted to. So let's say I want to go with uh, this as my primary color. So that's gonna be my brand color and that's gonna be my secondary color. I can just change it up here. Let me hit publish. Then I'm gonna go back. And then here we also have our header image. So this is where you can change your header image. So at the moment, let's take a look and see what our website looks like. So you can see already that my button here has changed. 
And if I scroll down, these are the default categories. So it means that my data import worked, which is fantastic. So what I'm gonna do now is I want to add an image right here. And to add your image, you need to come here and click on this one here. This is the size that we need, 1600 by 800. So when you create your image, make sure that it has these dimensions. Add new image. So I have an image here in my media library. I'm gonna click on select and crop, skip cropping. So now you can see my image here has been added. I'm gonna hit publish. So when I take a look here now at my site and I refresh, you can see my hero image now has been added. Okay, so now that we've added our main image here, let's go ahead and see how we can add all our listings on our new site. So back over here, what you wanna do is to hover over listings and then click on listings. So this is all the items that we are advertising on our website. So you can go ahead and delete all these if you wanted and start adding your ones. And over here, we also have categories. Now the categories are these categories over here. So because this is a new website, I wanna go in and add my own category. So adding a category is very easy. You just click on categories and let's call this gadgets. Next, I'm gonna come over here and click on select image, click on select image, and then I'm gonna click on add category. So what we're trying to achieve by adding this category with this image here is this look right here. So if I refresh this, hopefully this is gonna show and sure enough, it is showing and it also has gadgets written over here. So we can also add a description if you wanted to. So my description would come over here. I'm gonna paste it like that and then hit add category. Now, what we can also do is we can add subcategories to this. So to add a subcategory, we can come over here and we can say phones. But instead of having this as a parent category, we can click on this drop down and select gadgets. Let's add to category. In fact, we don't need this image here. So now we can say add to category. And now we have a subcategory of gadgets. So that means if your vendors want to um, add their gadgets into the phone category, they can always go ahead and do that. So this is how you add your category and your image. But the most important thing here is to make sure you're adding the right dimensions of the image. Otherwise, this will not look right. Okay, so let's see how easy it is to add a listing onto our website. So I'm going to come over here. But before I do that, let me come over here to vendors. So right now we have this default one called Brian Peterson. So I'm going to add mine. Let's call this Mac. And I'm gonna mark myself as a verified user here and then click on publish. So to add a listing, I'm gonna click on add new and I'm gonna call this Apple headphones. Next, I'm gonna come over here on my description and paste my description here. Now it's important that I choose my category correct here. So I'm gonna go to gadgets and I can also select my images over here of the actual product. So I'm gonna click here, go to my downloads and look for my image. Okay, so this is the image I'm going to use and then I'm gonna go ahead and publish. Now let's see how this has been added onto our website. So I'm gonna refresh. So if I scroll down here, as you can see now it shows on the recent listings. So if I click on it, now we have Apple headphones, it's under the gadgets. I have my image here and it's also showing that this was um, added by Mac admin, which is myself. And we also have a description over here. Fantastic. So this is really, really cool. I can also go in here and edit, edit this if I need to. So here is my text. I can go ahead and uh, make some uh, edits. And once I've done ed doing my ed uh, edits, I can click on save changes. So it's pretty easy to use. If I also need to hide this, I can hide it over here. And unhide, I can also delete it over here. That is fantastic. So it's very, very easy to add my uh, products onto my directory. Okay, so let's say I want to customize the look and feel of my main homepage. So to do that, you wanna come over here to the homepage, which is our main landing page here, and click on edit page. So what you're going to find fascinating here is this uses Gutenberg blocks. So this is going to be compatible with pretty much any WordPress website because WordPress is based on the Gutenberg blocks. So this is fantastic because every item that I click here, I can go ahead and customize. For example, I can click here on this text and I can just update this the way I want. So let's say I want to change this text. I can just go ahead and add my text like that 
And then over here, it says find everything you need. So I'm going to change this to find gadgets that you need. Okay, so just like that, I've updated this. Next, I also have uh, this area here, which has all my categories. And so when I click on it, notice what happens. Over here, I can define my columns. So I can say, okay, you know what? I want to have four of these columns. And you can see there's a space that has been created for me for my columns. I can also say, you know what? Let me just have two. So now I only have two over here. But in my honest opinion, I think three looks much better in terms of the layout. Now let's move on. So over here, if you wanted to change this from top categories, you can always go ahead and edit this to, I mean, to say whatever you want this to say. Now moving on, we also have our main listings here. So if I click, you can see that my columns here are three. I can change this to four columns and the number here can be eight. So now it's a bit more populated and this looks pretty much, you know, the way I want this to look. So let's say this is the look that I'm looking for. I can click on update. And now if I take a look at this page, I've literally gone in and updated my categories and also my listing. So you can see now that this has been updated. So I'm gonna show you now how you can go in and monetize your directory listing. So to achieve that, you wanna come over here and install WooCommerce. So I'm gonna say add new, and then I'm gonna search for WooCommerce. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on install and then click on activate. So this now is going to ask me to go through the setup wizard. I'm going to go ahead and skip the store details and say no thanks. So the next step now is to add our plugin that allows us to make this monetized. So I'm going to come over here to Hivepress, click on extensions. So now I can see all these extensions. And by the way, this is where you decide how you want to uh, extend your directory. So you can say, okay, you want to have a marketplace. You can pretty much go ahead and purchase this one here is $39. If you want to add features like memberships, you can go ahead and purchase this one here. This allows you to have memberships. If you want social login, again, you can use um, this extension here. And you also have things like a search alerts. This also is a good feature. So further down here, you can see statistics. I think statistics will be great. Now, as I go through this, I can see that I may need pretty much all of these. And this is where you can come over here and say, okay, I'm gonna go for all extensions. And this is going for 398, but there's a massive discount here. So you can get everything for 199. But what I'm looking for is this paid listings is absolutely free. So let's go ahead and install it. So I'm gonna click on install and then activate the plugin. So now I can come to listings and you're going to notice now that we have packages. So what I need to do next is to create a product in WooCommerce and this is going to be our package. So if I come over here now to WooCommerce, I'm gonna to come to products and then click on add new. So we are going to call this VIP. I'm gonna give this a description and then further down here, we're gonna give this a price. So let's say this is $29 and this is virtual by the way. And then I'm going to click on publish. Great. So the next step now is to come over here on listings. When I hover over here, you're going to notice that we now have packages. So if I select this, I can now click on add new. I can call this uh, VIP listing, give it a description. Now over here is where if I click on this drop down, I'm going now to be able to see the VIP that I created in WooCommerce. So now I can do that and then listing limits. So I can say, okay, I want to al allow 10 listings for this VIP package. And I can also add my expiration date if I need to do that. Uh, featuring of listings, I can make uh, listings featured as well if I wanted to. Now, once I've done that, I can choose my categories here. So I'm gonna go with gadgets and I'm also going to activate laptops and phones. So now that I've chosen that, I'm gonna click on publish. Now, if I also want to, I can add a uh, listing for free, so let's Go ahead and do that just to uh, get people to have a feel of how it is to list things for free on our site. So I'm going to call this free. And for my listing here, I'm going to put two. I'm going to set this to recommended. And again, I'm going to choose my categories. Click on publish. So now when I come over here on my site and I hit refresh. So if I click here on add listing, 
You can see I have two packages now. So I can either go for the VIP listing. Of course, here you want to have a better description of the benefits of this package. So you can go ahead and add, uh, perhaps you can list up to 20 packages for one month, or you can add even like say images, you can add say a maximum of 50 images and so on. But for this free package as well, you can go ahead and add a description. So let's say I want to go ahead and choose this free one. I can click on select. So to add my details here, I can click on my category that I need to go in and add my gadget. So it's going to be under phones, for example, I can select my image here. So let's say I go with um, this image here. I know it's not a phone, but this is just for demo purposes only. It's a camera. Next on the uh, title here, I'm just going to say camera or Canon. And then over here, I can add my description. Now, if I click on submit, notice what happens. This now is going to say listing submitted and I can now return to my account. So here's a really cool thing about listing hive. So we have two options. We can either set up our system to automatically allow people to just uh, publish their listings or I will have to first take a look at it and then approve it. So over here, I can see that this Canon ATD is set to pending. So if I now go back to my site, I can go to my listings here and take a look at the whole list. And here it is, it's pending. So I can now click on edit and then click on publish. So now it's published. If I come back over here and I refresh, we notice now that my Canon ATD is published. And if I go on my homepage here and take a look at my latest listings, we notice now that it is published. So Listing Hive is a multi-purpose theme and you can pretty much create any type of listing directory. However, we also have other themes that you can take a look at. So in your dashboard here, if you hover over HivePress and click on uh, themes, this will show you other themes that they have. So you may want to go with a totally different layout. So this is where you can just scroll through these and see which one you would like. So for example, we have Rental Hive here. If you want to take a look at what it looks like before you purchase it, you can just click on preview and this will give you an idea of what this looks like. So you can see here, this is more rounded corners. It's very clean and it's also professionally made. I really, really like this. In fact, this is my favorite one. You can also cycle through this. So as you can see here, there is more that you can choose from. And if I click on this stunning new apartment, uh, this will show me this actual apartment. So look at that. It has my description here. It also has the address. And you also have these tabs, which also shows you the location. And it also tells you the reviews here. Now to make your listing directory look professional, we need to fix two things. First of all, if I take a look here at my menu, this doesn't look right. And if I go to my main website like that, it goes to a blog page. So we want to fix these two things. So first of all, you want to come over here to our site, go to our dashboard. So you want to come all the way down here to appearance and then click on menus. Next, you want to create a brand new menu. So I'm gonna say create new menu. So I'm gonna call this main menu. I'm gonna assign this to the header and then click on create. Next, I'm going to now choose the pages that I need to add to my main menu. So I'm gonna start by clicking my home. I also need my listings. I also need my vendors. Okay, add to menu. And I'm gonna say save menu for now. Next, I am going to come over here to settings, click on reading and then set my static page to the home page. Now at any point you can add any pages you want to your navigation, it doesn't really matter. So if I come over here now and refresh, notice what happens. Now I have a new uh, menu over here. So it has my vendors. So if I click here, this will give me a list of all the vendors on my site. And you can see this one here I created earlier on. And this is Mac and this one is the default that we had earlier on. I could make this look much better by adding my image here. Next, I'm gonna click here on listings and this is going to show me all my listings. So I can filter them if I wanted to. So if I click here on filter, I can filter by gadgets. And now you can see I just have one gadget. Now, what I really, really like about Listing Hive is it uses Gutenberg blocks. So this is going to be a very fast loading website. And if you're someone that uses Elementor, this also has a basic integration, which means you can use Elementor to customize your website. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. By doing so, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you the next one. Take care.